So this is an interesting spot called Pine Ridge Road. It continues climbing up there. And here, well, we're gonna see what it does. But uh, this is in a general area called Newsome Sinks. And I used to come caving back in here. There are a bunch of, this is a karst area. There are a bunch of caves in here. And, uh, and I used to come, come back in here with my caving buddies uh, about, well, back in the late 80s, early 90s. I used to come back in here and uh, spend quite a bit of time, in fact. And uh, I'm not sure if this is the road, one of the roads that go, actually goes into the sinks itself, or if it's just, I mean, this is right at the end of the sinks, basically. So, it's an interesting spot. Thought I'd share it with you guys. It's just a, basically a depression on top of a mountain called Brindley Mountain. And it's pretty wild. Here's a little trail, a little Jeep trail or whatever. small wilderness area. There was something back there that looked like a cave, kind of. Let's back up and take a look at it. I don't know if that went into a cave or not. Or if it just drains under the road. Who knows? Yeah, let's pull over here and take a little look at it. I don't know if there's an outlet there or not. Oh yeah, that's a cave. That is indeed a cave. See, there's the mountain. And there's the cave. And obviously water runs out of that sometimes. It's not doing so right now. But, uh, yeah, I used to climb up in stuff like that. I require something a bit larger nowadays, though. But it's, if I remember correctly, Newsome Sinks, which is like a, it's kind of like a, a box canyon that's closed on both ends for lack of a better description. And uh, it's in limestone. Well, it's got a limestone cap. And, uh, or it's got a sandstone cap and then limestone underneath it, which the water percolates through and that's what formed the caves, I guess. And uh, it's, I forget how deep it is, but if I remember correctly, it's about three quarters of a 
of a mile wide and about four and a half miles long and all wilderness I mean there I don't think there are any homes in it or anything so something worth checking out so I just got through talking to a guy right at this spot and he said that uh, there's a lot of meth head activity around here now. There are some 9mm cases, looks like. Or maybe 40. I think they're 9s. Yeah. Yep, 9s. I'll pick those up and take them with me. But, uh, yeah, guy said... Which well, he's younger. He said that uh, in the early 90s, I told him I used to come caving back in here in the early 90s. And he said he was a kid then and he used to ride his bicycle through here. But uh, he said it's not safe down here anymore because of the uh, meth head activity. And, but he said that. Uh, Right about where I started filming up there at the the first curve going up, there is a uh, there's a trail going off to the left up there, and that goes to Hughes Cave, and I remember that name. That's one of the well-known caves in the area, and uh, I don't remember if I ever actually went in Hughes Cave or not. Probably did, but. Uh, Anyway, just a little insight from a local. Man, that looks like an awesome fishing spot. It's a spring hole. I mean, it's got water running into it. I don't know. I guess it's running out over there. But that's still, that's a pretty good hole. And... Anyway, let's see. So I drove around the little loop here. Looking up the mountain there. Yeah, I drove around through here. Now there's a hole. What happens is there'll be a cave, you know, and there'll be multiple entrances to it. Some of them really small. That's the way it is in a karst region. But there's a hole. And this is sand. I stopped right here. I was in two-wheel drive. And uh, then I, I guess when I started back up, it dug that a little bit. I mean, with that Auburn Limited slip in it, starting on uh, soft terrain like this, especially with one side up and one side down, one of them's got to spin because there's enough friction that it doesn't have, you know, real easy differentiation like it would with an open rear end. But uh, right there looks like some more entrances. Okay, now let's look over here. There's a... That's a 380, I think. Maybe. I don't know. It might be a 9-2. I think it probably is a 9-2. Okay. There goes a fish. But this is the pool coming out of the cave. See, you can see the cave right back there.
There's a little hole. And there's the cave entrance. I guess that's the main entrance to this cave. I can hear water dripping in there. Now this phone is supposed to be waterproof. We're going to take a look underwater. Just a real quick one under this rock to see if we can see anything. characteristic blue-green look from the minerals. This rock is sandstone. It has a pretty good grip. Of course that moss that you see growing on it, in a lot of cases that stuff can make it really slick. But, uh, but this particular rock, even though it's wet, it has a pretty good grip. I've tip, stepped on some rocks like that, that uh, were like walking on sheet ice. Look at that rock. That's kind of interesting looking. Okay, I guess that's it for now.